Uh, now we will see how we can use SI units for driving a physical equation with a constant. Of course, constants value cannot be determined by this method, but the constant here, all the constant must have the un, uh, must be the unit less or they must be the dimensionless quantities, dimensionless quantities. Uh, for example, suppose the basic equation, you know, okay, F is equal to M is the kinetic equation for the force is equal to mass into acceleration is a Newton second law. Uh, but suppose if I want to drive and if I give the factor, suppose he says uh, uh, for the formula for force, I mean force depends, he says force depends upon, if the force depends upon mass and acceleration. What will be its formula means? Let us see if force depends on mass and acceleration, what should be its formula? Then I will say F value M power x and a power y. Uh, I will suppose the powers, I do not know okay, to which the power of, uh, what will be the power of m, what will be the power of a. Suppose I that one, that thing f, f values of m power x and a power y. Then you can always uh, uh, eliminate the variable symbol by constant k, it's k m power x and a power y. Now where k is, I will say k is a unitless constant. That is must. Now, uh, due to this thing, sometimes a student think k, k, uh, whatever the constant is, no units. There are so many constant which have uh, which have the units. Acceleration due to gravity, the constant is a unit. Uh, suppose uh, a Newton's gravitational constant g is the constant which has a unit. So many constants have the unit, but here while driving these equations, whatever the constants will be, they have the, no units. So now I will drive this equation. Force is a Newton. K is a unit less, so I can write one. Mass is in uh, it's kg power x, acceleration in meter per second square power y. Again, Newton will be kilogram meter per second square, and this is kg power x, m power y, s power minus 2. I can compare the now powers kg power x, kg power 1. So x will be 1. And m power y, m power 1. So definitely y is 1. So only two things will be required, but. Uh, if you compare the second power, you will, uh, second power is minus 2y is equal to minus 2, so y is one well, same thing. So now I can write the formula for the force. Formula of force will be k, m power x, x is 1, and a, a power 1, so f is equal to k, m, a. This is the formula. Similarly, uh, we can drive, I can drive the formula for the time period of a simple pendulum. Now, uh, uh, suppose examiner tells you okay, time period, time period of simple pendulum T depends upon its length and acceleration due to gravity at that place. Find its formula. Find its formula. Of course, we cannot find its exact formula, but we will be finding in terms of the constant k, where k is a unit is constant. Now I will write t varies as l power x and of course g power y. So I will write t is equal to k l power x and g power y, where I will write k is a unit less constant. Now, I will just uh, write units, the units of T is second, K has no units, so 1 L is in meter power X, G is meter per second square power whole power Y, so it's S, it's M power X, M power Y and S power minus 2Y. There are no M, so I will write M power 0 here, 1 means M power 0 into second. So this is M power X plus Y and S power minus 2Y. First I will compare the coefficient of S is 1. So I will say minus 2y is 1, so y is minus half. Similarly, I will say x plus y must be 0, and y is minus half, so x minus half is 0, so x is equal to half. Now I can write the formula for the t, t will be a time period with k l power x, x is 1 upon 2, and g power minus half. I can just bring this down, I can write t is equal to k l power half, upon g power half. This minus power will come down. So I can just write this k, t is equal to k l upon g whole power half. I will write t is equal to k half means 
is that the s power roots of t is equal to k in a path under root. Now, actual formula is actually t is equal to 2 pi l over g under root, but we cannot find uh, the value of k as 2 pi from this one. That depends, uh, that will be found from through the experiments. Similarly, there is another equation. Uh, suppose uh, he says there is a formula for the centripetal force. Suppose uh, example tells you the centripetal force Fc depends upon mass of the body, mass F, uh, speed V or velocity V, speed V, and radius R of the circle. Find its formula. So I would write Fc varies as m power x, v power y, r power z. I will write Fc is equal to k m power x, v power y, r power z, where k is a unitless constant. Now I will write Fc is force, just four centimeter force in Newton, k is two unit one. Uh, this mass is kg power x, velocity has meter per second whole power y, r is meter power z. Now Newton has k kilogram meter per second square, this will be kg power x, m power y, s power minus y, m power z. So this is uh, now kg m s power minus 2, this is kg power x, m power y plus z and s power minus 1. Let us compare the things now. This kg power is 1, so x is 1 definitely. Now suppose first minus y is minus 2, so I can say y is equal to 2. Now the power of m is y plus z, here power of m 1, so I will say y plus z is equal to 1. So y is 2, 2 plus z is equal to 1. So z is equal to 1 minus 2, so z is minus 1. Now I can write the formula for the centripetal force Fc. It is k m power x, x power is 1 x value is 1 and v, uh, v, uh, v is the power y, y has power 2 into r, r is power minus 1, uh, it's z. So I write fc is equal to k mv square upon r. This is the formula by, from, by the unit method. Uh, now from the experiments we will see k is 1. Actual formula for centripetal force is mv square upon r, but we cannot find by unit analysis that k is equal to 1. So this is also a very useful method for driving those equations. Uh, but here the constant will be determined by some other methods or by some known values or by some experiments.